Welcome back to the channel and a new video. Nice early start for me this morning. I am off up the Caterham Bypass, so just round the M25. About an hour and 20 minutes, the sat nav saying. But of course, if there's any traffic, it's going to be a little bit longer. Chris is staying here today. He's going to get on with the Volkswagen Crafter. Again, we never know what way round we're putting videos, what days or what video's going where. So we're going to leave him to crack on with that. This one, you can see by the thumbnail, if we buy it, is a very nice car. And it's come via the owner through email. And of course, like any other car, there's a story to it. And it's got quite a lot of damage on it. But we're not going to get into that right now. We're going to get on the road, get down there, have a look at it. And fingers crossed, get it on a lorry and bring it back. There it is and does look very, very bad up close that has sure clumped something hasn't it and the door as well we've got lee here from reclamet he's going to chuck his cables underneath and pull it up you can see how bad it is underneath there as well but so lucky that the airbags didn't go right let's get it loaded on so lee made nice light work of that getting it loaded on quite happy with his purchase it is a lot of work but it was reasonably priced and I think it's going to turn out to be a beautiful car. Right, Lee's going to go and drop that off to Chris at the yard and I am going to go into Essex and grab some other bits. How about this for thinking ahead? Chris said, before we even do a cutting and show this one, Rob, let's run the extension lead out here, get the jump pack, get the charger on it and try and get some power to it so that we can all have a look together. So that is exactly what we're doing. We're having a little wander around, familiarising ourselves with it, getting the boot open, that opens straight up there as soon as we put some power to it and just having a look at the damage. Right, let's have a proper look round it. Take delivery on his own now because I was out getting the bits for that crafter, so not sure what way round we're watching it. But no. it, um, I was, as soon as I see it, I was like, oh, it's lovely. Chris was like, that's, that's had one, Rob. That has had mm. one. What do you think, mate? Well, that's yeah, it has had a fair one, but it's been a while since we've done a quarter panel, I suppose. It's so been a long while. It's, hasn't not, it? it's not aluminium, it's galvanised. So. Yeah. It's all doable, isn't it? It's going to be a, a new quarter panel, that one, I think. Definitely. But missed the tailgate, which is Completely nice, isn't it? missed it. So, it um, does look like that wheel's sitting a bit scary, yeah. doesn't it? It looks like it's sitting in at the top and, and in there in, as well. Towing yeah. in at the front, so back bump is toast. Yeah. It actually looks like it's all right, and then you'll see there it's split and there it's split, so that's knackered as well. Yeah. Yeah, we won't open this door. We've already done it once. Curtain and seat airbag's gone, isn't it? Yeah. Which, um, we started having a little look under here, just pulled the engine cover off. Soon as we chucked a jump pack on it, it come to life, and mm. Chris managed to open the tailgate. Off the remote. Off yeah. the remote. Now, we did buy this one from a home address, from the owner, and it wasn't until we've actually, we knew it was an RTC, so 20th of the 11th, 22. You got the key. I have. It's been a long, long time. Yeah. This has been sat around and it was, um, I mean, it, it, oh, the chap I got it from, he was fine for me to say that it was actually his son's guy. He bought it when it was a month old or so or a year old. I can't remember what he said. And they'd been out for dinner and he'd had a couple of drinks. So his wife was driving. But unfortunately, she was third party only. As a not a name, what they hit a roundabout or something um, like that? No, she was on the motor one, spun oh, right, it down. Right. So it's, it's something low, isn't it? Yeah, as it's saying it's low no, on the front. He was there. just saying how, how expensive those headlights would be, but it's completely missed all that upper, hasn't it? Completely missed, just them. caught the bottom, isn't it? As soon as you push that key earlier, I don't know if you can press unlock now. I know it was LED lights as well, yeah. So that's really handy that they didn't. But you can see it's took off the bottom of the rad pack and ripped loads of it off under there. But we'll get on to that mm. on a little bit later. But um, looking on the inside, curtain airbags. And this one, what category do you think it is? Let Even after you. all these years, you can't help but feel sorry for people like this. So, odometer, okay. Financial and legal, okay. And damage clearly highlighted there with a green tick, which is also okay. So, this one is actually non-recorded and it's due, of course, to a third party driving the vehicle. So, you've got your things to know there about 2019 Audi Q5. 
They've checked 900 plus data sources in 35 different countries. And of course, DVLA are partners in this, fueling this report. So scrolling a little bit further down, you've got your theft there, that's all okay. Police databases, stolen vehicle checked in five different countries, that's all okay. Odometer, last known mileage was just your delivery miles. This car has never ever had an MOT so it was less than three years old when it was actually damaged and never made it to its first MOT so it doesn't even look like we've actually got anything in timeline on this one let's take a look so on timeline you got your three records found and that was date of first registration March 2019 and then an ownership change on the 9th 19 so the owners bought this one when it was just six months old and here's a vehicle we recently checked as well today that we was interested in purchasing. And you can see there, if there is an issue, it's clearly highlighted in amber. And you can hit the top there, the damage section, and it comes up, this vehicle was damaged and was marked as an insurance write-off. And then a little bit further down, it says, on the 1st, 2024, it was written off N repairable, non-structural. I want to thank our vertical for the continued support on the channel. To benefit for a 20% discount off your check, use the little code up on screen now or hit the link in the description where it will automatically apply your discount. So yeah, very, very unfortunate. And I know we're going to get someone in the comments that says, well, how can you say, how can you do a check on it and it's not come up recorded? But ultimately, the only person that can report a car as a category is an insurance company you can't do it as an individual no. say i've crashed my car put it on the register no. so that is why it's it's fortunate for us it's nice to have it as an mm. unrecorded car mm. isn't it yeah yeah um what, so, what else yeah well the battery's fully charged now what yeah saying it is. should we see yeah what? give it a go mate turn the ignition on is this uh oh yeah so just uh so what's it foot on the brake Put on the brake and then well, should we just see if it before we try and oh, start yeah, it's it? All lit up. See what happens. Make sure there's no no radio on. Switch off engine. Ch check coolant level. Well, we know the bottom of the radiator is broken, don't we? So yeah. steering fault. Please stop vehicle. It is in neutral as well. We said it was in neutral. Right. Shall I um try and start? Shift then? to P before leaving car. Otherwise, vehicle can, can roll, roll away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Foot on the brake and yeah. That turn off first, wouldn't it? So, push it again. It was clicking. Yeah. I'll go around the front. Steering fault, please stop vehicle. Try that again. Go on. That's either stuck starter or yeah. something stuck. Yeah, we'll see. Um, 42,000. 42,450. Lovely on the miles. S line well, as well. It was running all right when it had the accident. It was running all right when it crashed. Should we get a spanner on it? Well, in case it's stuck. Yeah. I think the start might Shall we? Well, yeah, can do. lose, have we? Do you want to stay rolling and all them? Um, yeah, if you want. Off. Even if we can get well, it just turning over a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what and it we might need, free it we? up. Yeah. Stay there. <clears throat> That ignition's still on, I think, actually. Yeah, it should Do you want to turn it off? Should be all right, That's only because I've got to put my hand up there. All right, mate. Don't touch nothing yeah. for a minute. Oh. No, it was off. It is off. You know oh. what it is? Go on. You know yeah. what tall it is, yeah? Yeah, bear with us. Look at the dust on it. You can see it's been sat around for that long. I know it went to a... When they... He said when they had the accident... The police had it removed off of the road and had to pay recovery and storage. And he bought it back to his dad's house. And the reason it's been sat there that long, I don't want to go into personal details too much, but it was actually on finance and they needed to get that sorted and cleared first. So I think we can just about get you from up here, Chris. Can you? Oh, that ain't good. No? Oh dear. What's it stuck? That ain't moving, is that it? That ain't moving, Johnny. Ooh. Oh dear. I don't think that's the start motor. Do you want me to put my foot on that? There's no point, is there? Uh, dip the oil. 
There ain't no dipstick. Oh no, it wouldn't no. be. Uh, mm. We might have to do a bit of investigating here. Yeah, is there any damage down there? Any? Mm. Well, there's a bit of plastic broken off here. Maybe cut it there and we'll have a bit of a look, Rob. All right, all right mate. But that's not, not clever, is it? No. Say it. I know we constantly do say it. And it is the famous last words about a salvage vehicle, Chris. Mm. You're taking a big it's all a gamble. gamble. All a gamble. And it don't it? look like this one paid off, mate. Mm. Chris has found what is actually a sound deadening insulator off the sump. Yeah. Go on, mate. I've yes. just, well, I've just. That bit was <coughs> partially hanging off, so I just. Uh, Do you want to take the camera down? Just torn it off because yeah. it's revealed something that's not very clever. No. Do I need a torch or not? I don't think you will, but you might point it out with your finger. No, you don't need to. <laughs> no. There is a big hole big in the sump. Big hole right at the bottom of the sump, which means that has lost every drop of oil out of there. Mm. And you know what that means, Rob, don't it's you? Run dry. She's seized up, mate. And it's been an engine too long. That's going to have been an engine too long. What a shame. It's only just caught it, hasn't it, there? Yeah. Look Probably. There's no oil on the floor, otherwise I'd have, I wouldn't have even tried to turn the key if there was oil, but... Oh, dear. How gutting is that, mate? How gutting is that? Well... Yeah. Mate, um, it, it, is, we, you know, um, it is what it is. Look down there, Chris. What do you think? Look, look at all that damage down there. Yeah. That don't look good, does it? No. Mind you, that is only cosmetic. Yeah, it I think. is cosmetic. That's under tray, mid tray, isn't it? I'm just trying to lighten the mood after seeing that. What do we do, mate? What do we do? What's the plan? Because well, we're going to make one, aren't we? Well. I'm a bit gutted about that, if I'm honest. I did a Mercedes for myself once that had done a similar thing. Yeah. Um, and got away with it, but. That was for myself, and I had nothing to lose. And no. Nah. I think uh, it's, it's going to be the, the it's going to be solid though. Yeah, and that means everything else has run short of oil as well, doesn't it? Before yeah. it's seized up, so I think you're going to have to. Um, well, you was going to have to source parts anyway, but I yeah. think before we spend money on parts, get that engine code, and I think get the engine code and uh, have a ring round and see. I wonder how much one of them is. Yeah. I wonder what else it fits. Do you know what, Chris? I'm not going to be down about it. It is what it is, isn't it? It's. I think this was bloody reasonably priced, this car. I yeah. think it was fair. Yeah. So, I mean, it, 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 it's, my, it's going to be a lot of work that now. That might kill it. Well, I'm not saying it would kill it, but if you look at it from the point of view, it's, a, it's, it's like three repairs in one, really. Yeah. You've got potentially an un engine replacement. You've got front end damage to repair, and then you've got back end damage, yeah. rear end damage, haven't you? So it's like almost doing doing three three three, sal three three repairs or three salvage. But that's you know you take the good with the bad, don't you? That's the game. Let's uh, um, let's try and turn. You could, you could never diagnose that from photos, could you? No, no, mate. So, and it, it, listen, this ain't the first time it's happened, and it won't be the last. It, no. This is a I, risk. It is. This car's um, insane, low down. It's a risk that that... It, it's probably an expensive engine, though, I'm going to hazard a guess, yeah. aren't you? I will just reassure... Like, obviously, I do do my checks and due diligence. We'd never lose money at this point on what we paid for it, I don't feel. I feel that it's worth what we paid for it, so... Yeah, yeah. It's one of them, isn't it? Let's get on the phone and see if I can track some bits down for it. But first of all, you're right, an engine. I think find out how much an engine is first and then go from there, really. And, yeah. Uh, but it's going to be the normal normal route, isn't it? Ring mm. who we know first. Yeah. And then, and then start looking further afield. Yeah. All right, mate. All right, mate, let's do it. First phone call, of course, was to Reclamet. And surprise, surprise, Category B... It is in a bad way, but the front is untouched. And we've done a reg check. It's a very similar year. I think this is a 69, and it is exactly the same engine, the same engine code. And just doing a mileage history check on it, 
a car vertical, the previous car actually done 1,000 miles less than ours. So the guys are here ready now. They've already put it on the rack. They're going to crack straight on and get this engine out of us so that we can take it home with us. And also, there's quite a lot of other bits of suspension and stuff that we're going to need for this corner and, of course, for that back as well that all looks straight. I, don't, I think that's possibly had a little whack that side. I don't know. But this is a Category B, this one. And they've had to... Obviously can't get inside it, so I had to undo the bonnet latch this side and manage to pop it this side. Anyway, they are going to strip it all off. I'm going to leave them to crack on with it, and hopefully we can get that in the back of the van and take it back to the yard. Sorry, the guys in there wanted to crack on, so I just left them to it. And I've come outside. I did ask if I can have a little look around at some of the other stuff that they've got. These have all been depolluted, everything, and it's ready to go in there, go on the ramps, be taken apart, labelled, and put on the shelves but look at that one now sq5 v6 turbo that looks beautiful i did just go up a bit closer to it you can see it's got all red leather in it no airbag damage it is all top roof a tesla there 22 reg again that's been squashed i'm not even sure what that is up there but it looks very nice loads and loads of late stuff there's a defender there looks like it's um pretty squashed another hybrid there just loads and loads of stuff and our go-to place now definitely one phone call and they had most of the stuff it well a lot of the stuff we're going to need there's another q3 or a q5 up there and guys, don't forget, if you go on their website, I don't think you'll be able to do it on eBay because it'd be too hard to apply the discount code. But they actually give us a discount code last time we come and it still works. And it's just SR10 and you'll get a discount from their Reclamet website. Or if you just ring them up, they'll give you a, a discount as well. But yeah, loads of stuff. Late Audi A1 now. Nice 3 uh, Series BM. I don't even know what that is. Some sort of Lexus. There's an old classic Range Rover there. Late Merc, C-Class. Yeah. Old classic Range Rover there. Looks like the Essex Boys one, doesn't it? It's been burnt inside. Range Rover Sport over there, white one. They've got so much stuff here. So much stuff. Right, let's go and have a look, see how they're getting on. I'm not going to get in their way, but just 45 minutes later, and you can see that engine is very nearly out, sitting on those pallets. They're just moving the legs out of the way, and they're going to pull it out. Hopefully, remove some of that off of it, because it ain't going to fit in my van, is it, until a lot of that is removed. Well, it's definitely in there, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely in now. Oh dear. Nice, nice. Oh, the engine cover, lovely. Yeah, throw that in there, mate. Thank, yeah, thank you. Right, let's head back to the yard and get Chris to unload that. See you later, lads. Thank you. Thank you. I'll tell you what, mate. I'm, I'm going to mention it. This is not sponsored, but I'm going to continue to blow smoke up their arse because <laughs> they are seriously yeah. saving us lately, aren't well, they? Yeah. Look at that. And that is nice. I mean, I don't think they would do this for everyone, the trust they've put in us here. Oh, yeah. That's giving us sure. the whole lot. Yeah. But basically as well, this shocked you when I come back, the gearbox. Now, they did start to actually undo a few bell housing bolts. Yeah. And the more I thought about it, I thought, do you know what? It's done the same mm. mileage. I don't know what yeah. way around you want to do it. No, not giving it a lot of thought, really. I think we'll wait till we get that one in and start pulling it apart. Yeah. But we've got the option, haven't we? We've got the option of putting the whole unit in or splitting it and using our gearbox. They've done the same mile, so, you know, it's... I'm, I'm open, even that. I mean... Obviously, we return it, whatever gearbox we don't use to them. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, these are the only two pipes that they cut. And he said yeah. to me, do you want them? And I said, no, you no, can cut them. No. And they're literally just a couple of little clips to get them off. And there's a couple of other bits cut. And I think this could potentially just go in as one unit. 
Yeah. I mean, we could yeah. drop our subframe down, take it out of the equation, That's right. get this in, but with the whole front end coming off as well, it's going to make life easier, well, isn't yeah. it? So, yeah. So I guess we know what we're doing in the next video. Well, no. Guess in the comments section what we're going to be doing to the Audi yeah. in the next video. Yeah. But I think, yeah, everyone can gather it. All of this stuff will need to go back. All of the accessories that we don't use. In fact, we'll just send up our, our engine. Yeah, with and all the ancillaries on it. Yeah. If we take it out like that, we will slide our one back in the van and drop it off exactly the same. But yeah, very, very lucky to actually get all of that and get it so quick. I was, I was a bit... I'm never gutted. It, it, well, it, it does make well, you a little bit, but doesn't it? But sometimes stuff like this just does happen. But, but this has fallen in our in our lap, really, isn't it? Yeah. With with all the other part, or I've, a lot of the other parts. I've got rear suspension. Yeah. I've got front suspension, and I've got full rad pack. Unfortunately, their front panel is all cracked at the bottom. It's got a crash bar on it. But it's it? got a crash bar, yeah. and it gives us everything that is missing from ours. So yeah. we know what to buy for it because yeah. ultimately it's missing. Right. All right, mate? Yeah, that's it, mate. Guys, that is going to be the end of the first video on the Audi Q5. If you did enjoy it, we'd appreciate that thumbs up. It's completely free of charge. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for some more brilliant videos. And if you want to follow us on Instagram, it's Selvage Rebuilds. If you want to follow Chris on his jollies at the NEC, boot fairs, doing stuff around the farm, he's just about to get some new chickens, it's Selvage Rebuilds Chris. We'll see you very, very soon in the next one.